All right. So what we have for this problem is it says a ship is 45 miles east and 30 miles south of port. The captain wants to sail directly to port. Which bearing should be taken? So there's a couple things we need to do. First, we need to figure out port. So we'll create a little dot, and we'll call that port. OK? Thank you. So it says you're going 45 miles east. Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, if we're creating bearings, so we have north, east, south, west, right? So you're going 45 miles. 45 miles east, and then you went 30, 30 miles directly south. Does everybody agree with that? So then what, the, what they're asking is, here's my nice little ship. We want to be able to sail directly back to port what is going to be the bearing that we, want to, that we want to travel? So remember, a bearing again, we need to create another set here where we have north, east, south, west. So our bearing is we need to be able to figure out what that degree is. All right? So we need to figure out the degree to go out there. Now, the only thing we know is we need 45 and we know 30 degrees. All right? So to this angle, how do these two angles, so if let's call this theta. For this angle, how do these two relate? Now we do have a right triangle. If you go directly east and then you go directly south, you have now created a right triangle. So we have a right triangle. There's two things that we've talked about in this class. If we have a right triangle, you can always perform the, what theorem can you use with the right triangle? Yeah. Yes, you can do SOHCAHTOA, all the, all the trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, all that with the right triangle. You can also use Pythagorean theorem. Now, Pythagorean theorem is not going to help us out because they're not asking us how far are you away from port. Right? If they ask for how far are you away from port, Pythagorean theorem would work out. But they want to know the angle, so we're going to have to use our trig, ident our trig functions. So which trig function then am I going to want to use if I have these two? Yeah, tangent, because we're not dealing with the opposite, right? So we can write out tangent of theta is equal to um, my opposite over my adjacent. So therefore, we can say theta equals tan inverse of 45 over 30. So then I take my nice little handy calculadora. And inverse tangent of 45 divided by 30. And that's 56.30 degrees. Actually, 56.31 degrees. So, so remember, when we're talking about the bearing, the first thing we want to do is tell you you're going to go north 56.31 degrees west. So my bearing is going to be north 56.31 degrees west back to port. OK? Jacob, thank you. Jacob, thank you. Okay, good talk.